take a look at negative and positive punishment. Negative punishment is taking away something that is a positive stimulus, and positive punishment is adding a negative stimulus. Archie loves his chalk, but Archie knows that he's not allowed to draw on the ground with it. Let's take a look at Archie. This is an example of negative punishment, because I am taking away something good. Archie, you know you're not supposed to be drawing on the ground. Give me your chalk. This is an example of positive punishment, where I'm adding something that Archie does not like. We all know cats don't like water. Archie, you shouldn't be drawing on the ground. This is a Skinner box. We have Archie the Wildcat trapped inside. Archie loves pride bucks. They are an appetitive stimulus for him. Positive reinforcement is when the behavior of pressing the lever is positively reinforced with an appetitive stimulus, the pride buck. Now let's take a look at negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement is when a behavior is reinforced by removing an aversive stimulus. Here, the aversive stimulus is a high-pitched noise. The aversive stimulus is removed by the behavior of pressing the lever. There are four different schedules of reinforcement, fixed interval, fixed ratio, variable interval, and variable ratio. Ratio schedules deal with the number of times behavior occurs, while interval schedules deal with the time elapsed since the last occurrence of the behavior. First, we, are, we will look at fixed interval. This is a fixed interval schedule of reinforcement. Every five seconds, Archie will receive a pride buck, no matter how many times he presses the lever. Now we will look at the variable interval schedule of reinforcement. First, after three seconds, Archie will receive the pride buck. Then, after five seconds, and then after two. This is regardless of the number of times that he presses the lever. Now we will look at the ratio schedules of reinforcement. First we will look at the fixed ratio. Every two times that Archie presses the lever, he will receive a pride book. Lastly, we will look at variable ratio. The number of times required for Archie to receive reinforcement changes every time. So first, Archie will receive a pride buck after one time of pressing the lever, then four times of pressing the lever, and then two.